nothing to be blunt with it. I got lungs, how the sun did it. Damn Tony on the run, none hit it. I become fitted and accustomed to the hunt, unwitted. Leaving crumbs for the young, come get it. Defense A1, no be one with it. About to turn a new leaf with the generation that just grew up on a news feed. Who me? Born in 96, but my roots deep. Always kept a hundred like I'm Koofies. Ooh, he's rapping on his Q's P's. Always viewed as a few things. No offense, but the booth brings an excuse to let loose, please. I'm an MC, so the threats bring out the best. I'm the Southwest King from a valley in a vet theme. But Manina, I'm investing. Yo, 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 what is up, y'all? Today we are on part 12. Uh, you know what's funny? Last episode, I said we were on part 10 when I should have said we were on part 11. So, if you are following along, we uh, have a new main menu, which is pretty cool. If you're at this point in the game, you no longer have that crippled, weird... I don't even know what to call them. Gray, volcanic, ash, motherfucker. Now we've got this... Super Saiyan uh, Skeleton Boy, because you know he's powerful. Like you, you know he he just devours the force, so he's powerful. But and, and, you know, I don't know what is up with his mask. He, he looks like a skeleton, like a skull. So, I just thought I'd show y'all that cool little thing. We're uh, we're on the interior of the Ebon Hawk because we just got two new fucking crewmates, which is pretty hype, pretty pretty hype if you ask me. So let's go ahead and. Um, Hmm. Well, I guess we could talk to everybody. That's definitely an option. Statement. Master, I must say it is a pleasure to be working side by side with you. And why is that, my friend? Statement. Just when I believe my photoreceptors have recorded the last potential aspect of your cruelty to my memory core, you commit a new atrocity that leaves me analyzing its impact for days. You are like a delightful random cruelty generator master, <laughs> poisoning all you touch with your presence. <laughs> you are a testament to all organic meat bags everywhere. Man, you're making me blush. Um, stick with me, you'll pick up a few things. Awesome. Statement. I have already learned a great deal, <laughs> Master. And I am anxious to learn bah. more of lying betrayal and new ways to harm innocents. Yes. Good, good, good. Statement. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> you wish to conduct an interrogation? Excuse me. Very well. Proceed. <laughs> an interrogation. Um, without torturing you. Statement. Master, I am no behavior droid, but it is obvious to me that you have serious ethical <laughs> problems that will need to be treated at some point. Very well. Ask your questions. If you feel the need to make it an interrogation, however, do not restrain yourself. I would be saddened if you held back. Interesting. Do you know anything about the Sith hunting us? For, you don't seem advanced as you should be, huh? Statement. Master, you wound me. <laughs> Not physically, but in my behavior core. It is true that I once possessed many more protocols and upgrades, but time and damage has taken its toll. And I am afraid that I have a rather long history of memory problems, which has also compromised my effectiveness <clears throat> as well. Still, you will find me a valuable asset master, willing and able to terminate anything you point me towards. Okay, so he, he's being pretty honest with us, which is dope. He must admire us, after all. He does see the evil in us. Statement. Ah, more questions. <laughs> Wonderful. <clears throat> Man, I hope everybody's ready for a good little vibe sesh. You know, an hour-long Star Wars run like we always do. We're flying through this game. 12 parts, 12 hours. That's That's no joke. It's been fun. Thank you to everyone who's been rocking out with me this whole time this whole adventure it's, it's super exciting all right uh what else can we say answer master all right influence failed i don't want to i don't want to pry answer no master i do not i am afraid i have been out of touch with the sith for many years this new sith threat fights differently than the ones I was familiar with. These seem to favor stealth and assassination to achieve their ends. <clears throat> hey, you know he's not wrong. Answer. No, Master. The Sith had many hidden bases and strongholds before and during the Jedi Civil War, and I doubt the Republic found them all. Theory. 
Is it possible that the Sith still hold one such base, if not several? Consolation. But I would not worry, Master. I imagine it will not be long before their murderous hands try to seize you by the throat. <laughs> Twi'lek metaphor. Twi'lek. Jesus, this guy is fucking great. Smaller than our enemies. Query, master, excuse me, but how is it you know so many languages? Doubles as a translator? Wow. Query, may I see it? Wow, okay. Observation. This is indeed familiar. Indeed, it seems to be modeled after my vocabulator, with some modifications, of course. Curious. You say you obtained this device on Paragus. Yep. Observation. Master, I do believe this device serves multiple functions, including tracking your position for any HK units in the vicinity. Oh, wow. Confirmation. Yes, Master. I believe so. Oh! Of course, we would need to find three separate HK squads and use this device in order to target their base. Okay. Answer. Master, the nature of the signal from the sonic imprint sensor is such that we must wait until it is signaled. It does not please me any more than it does you, but one of the primary traits of an assassin or assassin droid is patience. All right. Statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Theory. Well, Master, I believe I was shot repeatedly. Once Damn. reduced to my component parts, I suspect pieces of me were sold across the galaxy. Statement. I am an extremely valuable piece of equipment after all, Master. My parts were no doubt costly to obtain, and their new owners hesitant to part with them. <laughs> it was something a pain, yes. Statement. That is indeed unfortunate, Master. It is merely another thing my attacker will answer for. I would be most distressed if you were to shoot me, attack me, or dismember me in any way. I do not wish to repeat the experience. I think that's everything. Dark side and... <laughs> excuse me, influence gain. Plus a thousand XP? Fuck yeah. Finding the HK factory. Nice. Yo, yo, yo. Hold up. I gotta... I gotta fix this real quick. We don't want this fucking color. I, we don't want this lightsaber. We forgot. Oh, that's all we have? I thought we got a different... Hmm. Oh, that's what we got. What? How do I take... I want the silver one, bro. So I can just take everything off this, though, right? Pretty sure. Cool. Yeah, I can just take everything off this. I'll take this, then. That's fine with me. No problemo, baby. That's it. Nothing there. You, you saddened me. You saddened me greatly. Give me this, boy. Oh, yeah. 12 to 41. 6 to 28. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. Ooh, that boy good. That boy good. Look at that. Look at that. We're stacking it up early on in the game, baby. All right, all right. <clears throat> Let's do... Uh, Let's do everyone in the middle here. So we got HK. Let's talk, let's talk to our boy Mandalore now. I'm going to try to be using Mandalore and HK for some, maybe at least a planet, maybe two. I want to see the interaction because I know they'll approve of all of my dark habits or whatever, my decisions. <laughs> nice ship you have here. Where did you get it? Ah, does it look familiar? Huh, dog? Does it look familiar? I see. Well, you were lucky to get it then. This is a fast ship. Well made. I'll bet she'd have some stories to tell. <laughs> now, is there something else you needed? Um, wow, we've got a lot to ask. Let's go on. Hmm. 
I'm not really sure. Let's just start from the top, I guess. The Republic is a stagnant beast that had been killing its people for years before the wars began. Were it not for Revan's strength, the Republic would already be dead. Only Revan was worthy of our respect. We swept through the Outer Rim without any opposition until Revan assumed command of the Republic forces. Only then did the battle turn. But as you know, only a handful of Jedi fought, while the others cowered in their halls, afraid to meet us head on. <laughs> perhaps it uh, it wasn't fear that kept the Jedi. The Jedi had the reasons. Perhaps the Jedi thought that was better not really. Interesting. I'm sure there were good reasons. I'm not accusing you of being a coward. You commanded the Republic fleet that destroyed ours. You were a worthy opponent. Now is there something else you needed? Let's yeah. Let's just keep going down. The Republic thinks my people are dead, scattered. They are wrong. Should have destroyed us when you had the chance. As long as one Mandalorian lives, we will survive. Our honor, fortunes, and lives revolve around battle. From our earliest history, this has been our way, as it will be always. <laughs> Can you tell me Mandalorian's history? Wow. Our history and our ways are something we shield from outsiders. Only on the battlefield can you truly learn of someone. Okay. Which is one of the reasons I travel with you. It pleases me that you recognize the truth. The Mandalorian clans will be united. Then we will take back our place in the galaxy. But we live in times of action. And I've said enough for now. We can speak of this again later. Now is there something <clears throat> else you needed? Um, are you certain the clans will follow you? Interesting. I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. I will help you fight your battles and plan your strategy. But I will not be your errand boy. Find some other lackey to do your thing. <laughs> now is there something else you needed? Love it. But you'll give me stimulants though. It's funny to watch. I thought that the Force would be enough of a weapon for a Jedi like yourself. Need a little something extra to work up your courage in a fight. Here you go, <laughs> but don't get too attached to them. I only have time to make so many. Now is there something else you needed? Let's see. I fought countless <laughs> battles. Ones most didn't Just trying to egg them on. The wounds add up. And even the implants are all that keep me going sometimes. I may have been stronger in my youth. And stupider. But now I've got to rely more on my armor, my weapons, and my cunning. Now is there something else you needed? I like that. That's pretty dope. We have suffered defeats before, but none like our defeat at Malakor. Our spirit may have faded, but it hasn't died. It will burn bright again, like a star in the heavens. Nice. The end of the Mandalorian Wars was something new unknown to us. Revan fought us like a true warrior and defeated us on our own terms. Revan embodied our philosophy and showed us our own weaknesses. <clears throat> then he exploited them. It was a painful lesson. With Mandalore dead, our weapons taken and our pride destroyed, many lost their way. But I will change that. Pretty dark. <clears throat> Mandalorian's always got a fucking dark history. I would appreciate your help. Many in the Republic nice. look at the Mandalores as wild and violent kinraff. Now, after many years, a new Mandalore has returned. We have a long tradition of honor in dealing with allies and those who provide us aid. It's a tradition that those we war against are quick to forget. I can tell you want to know more, but we can talk more later about this. Now is there something else you needed? Nice, I love hearing about all this. Being Mandalore is the greatest honor for our people. Mandalore's helmet is passed from one leader to the next. When Revan executed Mandalore before our eyes, he cast Mandalore's helmet away, denied it to us. He took Mandalore's helmet and left with it. If he hadn't done that, the new Mandalore would have been chosen that day, but without leadership and direction. The clans scattered, fell apart. 
<laughs> so gangster. During the Jedi Civil War, I met and traveled with Revan. I was there with him when he defeated Darth Malak and traveled with him afterwards. Eventually, he told me where he had taken the helmet. He set me upon this path. We can talk about Revan and other things later if you like. You know enough for now. Now, was there something else you. Yeah, there's the big hype, yo. Mandalore himself traveled with Revan. Fucking dope. I want to have a word with you. Let's go. I wanted to make sure that we have some things clear. Right now, we both seek the same goals. Whatever our reasons may be, the Sith must be stopped. If they destroy the Jedi, the Republic will fall and my people will be eradicated or enslaved. To survive, I'll help you. But as Mandalore, I have another duty. The unification of the clans. It's true. After our defeat at Malachor, the survivors spread across the Outer Rim, many taking up work as mercenaries, or worse. But they cannot have fallen so far that they will not recognize a new Mandalore has been chosen. One who will restore our people to glory. I'll fight beside you, but I'm warning you, don't get in my way. I'm not asking for help. I'm just asking you to let me do this. Cross me, and I might have to reevaluate our arrangements. Nice. After the Sith are dealt with, you can turn your attention to us. Or maybe we can forge an alliance of our own. Our next battle need not be fought against your Republic. Consider what I've said. Now is there something else you needed? Thanks. Thanks, mate. Anything else? I have questions for you. Dude's got a lot, alright. You fought with Revan and Malak during the Mandalorian Wars. Why? I want to test my training in a real fight. They provide an opportunity. They're, they were the only Jedi who realized the Republic would fall without the support of the Jedi. Huh. We'd never faced Jedi before and didn't know the threat they represented. You've always been in the Jedi Order. Things that are common knowledge to you are rumors and stories <laughs> of the galaxy. We only knew what we had seen in Holovids and from our experience with Exar Kun. And by that time, he was completely a Sith. We thought we would triumph easily over such noble and compassionate leaders. Those are weaknesses we easily exploited in the past. What did you think of us? Strong warriors and worthy adversaries. Yeah. And that is how we thought of you. Not of the Jedi in particular, but the men and women who joined Revan and Malak to fight against us. You turned a demoralized, defeated mess into a coordinated army. <laughs> you brought tactics, backbone, and above all else, victory to them. Ever consider what would have happened if we'd won? The Sith would have been nothing more than a border skirmish against the might of my clans. We would have brought a new age of strength and expansion to the Republic. With the wealth of the core worlds providing arms and warships to fuel our growth. Instead, the Republic won. Look around you. Look at what your precious victory has brought you. <laughs> I ask you this. Is the galaxy better off for the Republic's victory? You're a fool if you think not. I don't deal in what ifs. Of course, the man can't run the Just think about it. Now is there something else you needed? Bro, you just... I'm gonna keep talking to you. Yeah, what do you want? Oh, okay. That's it then. Nice. We got a... We got a thick load from Mandalore, didn't we? <laughs> Oh, man. All right, let's save. It's already been 20 minutes. Wow. We've just talked to two people. Query, is there someone that you need killed, Master? Some target practice. What? Statement. Uh, never mind. Nothing new. Okay. I was curious if he would uh, do what Mandalore did. You could just fucking talk to him 1,200 times. Now let's talk to this bitch who tried to kill us. My life for yours. I am able to serve. If we enter battle, I will fight and die alongside you. That's a little much, don't you think? <laughs> I... I have not heard that question in some time. My flesh is healed if that's the answer you seek. Dope. The scars are many and the causes equally so. 
it is of no importance. Damn. I felt you, <laughs> heard you through the force. It was like a sound at the edge of hearing. And when I heard it, I found I could not ignore it. I serve my master. I am an emissary. Excuse me. A scout. My master was aware of a disturbance in the force, but was unaware of its nature, of you. The disturbance is not something one feels from a living thing. There is little my master does not know. And that you eluded his sight for so long is significant. But I do not know why. You cannot. His vessel roams the borders of known space. And even I do not know where he travels. Until he calls for me. Even if I <laughs> could lead you to my master. I cannot permit you to find him. Until you are ready. Such a scary relationship <laughs> that they have. If I bring you before my master, untested, without your potential realized, then you will be lost to me. And I cannot allow that to happen. It would be as if one brought fire to a paradise valley, shattered a cavern of rare crystal, or blinded a painter. Hmm. Damn. It is a choice that can be made by neither one of us. Do not be so quick to meet that which you do not understand. Use the time you have now to grow, to train, and to strengthen yourself. Aight, aight. You will meet my master. It is inevitable. I have seen it. And when you stand before him and realize what you face, you must be prepared. Until then, I must protect you, help you, until you are ready. There's a, a greatness in you. A greatness that does not stem from the Force. It stems from who you are. And if my master does not understand you, cannot see you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. But if you seek to survive, then you must understand why this is so. <clears throat> she speaks like it's a poem. <laughs> there is much I see my master cannot. I fear it is because of my nature, the nature of my race. My people spend their lives seeing the galaxy, the energy streaming off stars, the growth of life, all things touched by the force. So dope. They're gone. There's nothing more that I can say. Hmm. Whoa. Well, that was a lot. For yours. I will answer what I can, but my answers may prove useless to you. Um it is not something I speak of. Damn. I will answer. Hmm. My people once had the power to perceive events, to see through the force. That sight may manifest itself in many ways, and at times I may affect the abilities of others to see as well. Damn. Is there something else you wished? So, hold on. My people, that's... My sight has been damaged. What I have taught you, it is not the full extent of the perceptions of my people. Oh, nice. My master, he has crippled me. It is not something I... Damn. I will... I'm not familiar with the place you speak of. My master has not entered Republic space for some time, but there are others who may move more freely, who may have been responsible for such an act of destruction. Others? There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves, it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same, the death of all Jedi, everywhere. They believe you are the last of the Jedi, and their hatred of the Jedi unites them. All their eyes are upon you, and it is a terrible, quiet darkness that pursues you. <laughs> I will answer what I can. 
Will you though? I wonder what this difference is. My master did not cause the end of the planet you speak of. There are many factions within this. Where one moves, it is they believe. So it's the same. Thing. Well, didn't get much from her. <clears throat> Definitely has potential though, as you can see. All right, all right, all right. Well, 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 well. Let's go over here next. Save the game. Yes. Training is something reserved for certain cast members of the Achani. But I do not see the harm in instructing you in some basic principles. I do not understand how you and Atris fight, but I will instruct you on how Achani children are raised on warfare. Let's do it. All Ichani fighting principles rely on foundations. If one does not understand the most basic of fighting moves, it is not possible to understand the higher tiers. It is similar to learning the alphabet of a language before being able to use words, then sentences. <clears throat> Let's go. You are correct. Words are merely words, and they fail to communicate what I intend to teach you. As a foundation, I will instruct you in our elementary movements. The body itself is the first weapon you must master. It is not something that can be described. Let us duel, you and I, and that shall teach you more than my words can. Use only your hands and feet to strike at me, nothing else, or our combat shall be over. Do not resort to using any items or any force techniques you may possess. Such things will obstruct learning. All right, I'm ready. Very well. I shall match my movements to resist your efforts. And do not hold back, or I will hurt you. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get my shit rocked, let's be real. She can turn on a shield? What the shit was that? What the shit? Oh. I'm about to get destroyed. How come she got a shield, bro? Damn. You fought well, but you announce your motions before attack. What? What? How can she put on a melee? I'm I don't understand that one. Hold on. Like that bitch yes. cheated. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It is as a it is used. Is the same thing gonna happen? Hold up, hold up, hold up. No, I missed. That's... That's not good. 32! No, and I missed again. What's up with this? Guys. Guys. What just happened? What just happened? You fought... Ah, let's try again. Very well. as it is you. This is ridiculous. We gotta get it though. I feel like we can get it. Enemies surround us. Now is not the time for words. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Come on, come on. It's such a. Cl oh my god. Oh my. What is that? Why? The fuck can she do that? What the? F I can't believe we're getting destroyed. All right, all right. Here we go. Hold up, hold up. Yes. No. No, we're gonna figure. We're gonna figure this out. There's not against one person. I don't have a single combat form. That's not good. I thought I had something. Man. I don't think we can beat her. She's too strong. Wow. Come on, it's close. Is she gonna knock me down? Oh, even worse, I'm gonna miss. And oh my god. Well. So cringe. 
I want to do this so bad. Oh my god. <clears throat> wow. She hits so hard. Look at that. She hits so hard. No, we're so close, guys. I don't understand. Nope, that wasn't good. That's not good. Wow. Alright, this is my last attempt. I don't give a fuck. You know what? You know what? You know what? No, we're not. We're not sitting through this shit. You have. Yeah, I know I did. Fuck you, handmaiden. <laughs> That was ridiculous. Mm. Mm. What a shame. Yes. What a fucking shame. I am tra that um. Training is some. I do not understand. Hold on. Can we? I honor. Yeah. So much. Oh shit, I... He left our family to serve in the Mandalorian Wars, but his choice was not because of battle. He went to join my mother, one whose movements and spirit matched his. His only desire was that they fight together, side by side, for as long as there were enemies amassed against them. I never saw her face, and she did not return from the final battle of the war. She died in the battle that shattered Malachor V, and her body was never recovered. My father returned from the Mandalorian Wars, and did not enter battle again. He entered politics, a caste where one's battles are fought through words rather than action. He was slain by Revan in the Jedi Civil War. When Revan sought to destabilize the Ichani worlds, Revan succeeded. The fact that our father chose battle is not shameful, but that is not the reason he went to war. He went to war to be with the one he loved, but not the one he had pledged himself to. He was disloyal. I am the mark of that disloyalty. It is said that such things run in the blood, and I have fought long to prove that this is not so. That is why I am different from my sisters. Yet I am pledged to them, and Atris, and I would die before betraying them. I tell you this in trust, and ask that you not speak of it to others. I only wish you to know. Because he did not uh, speak of what had happened there, and with us he was <laughs> silent, changed. When I look upon you, I see in you an answer to a question I have searched for all my life, and that is why I tell you this now. I do not believe you to be the monster Atrus made you out to be. I believe your choice was my father's choice, and it was just as difficult. It's okay, so I thought you needed, and I think you do, but maybe the game kind of unlocks it for you as you gradually progress, but normally you need. This is basically unlocked through influence. So I, if unless maybe I've gotten influence with her, now she's telling me. But either way, I'm glad she's telling us this. This is good, important information for the story. Malachor Five is the place where I lost my mother and my father. But it was their choice to fight the Mandalorians and to die there if Malachor was to be their grave. I know it is difficult for others to see why I am here, but it was important that you know one of the reasons. And know that it is not simply duty that I am here, but because I want to be here. I want to fight with you side by side for as long as there are enemies that threaten you. You are a leader. Your stance, your every action proves it. It's true. You honor me, exile. Together, then. You may have. Before entering Atris's service, yes, I can. It is not important. My Come on. We all have value. When importance is placed on the self. If re I do not know. We've already gone through this before. I meant no offense. You may. All right. Never mind. Oh. Well, I didn't want light side points. Yes. 
Well, I guess we're done with that. Did not really expect to go that route with Handmaiden, but here we are. <laughs> wow, wow. Can we talk to Mr. Atten, the homie G himself? Something up? Alright. Mm. Nope. Pazak is just a... It's not fun. It's just alright. It's whatever. It's a card game. Uh, it's a game of 21, basically. It's, it's not a big deal. Alright, Kreya. Let's see. You're about to bitch me out, aren't you? You have befriended the seer. The seer. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. Despite your urges, urges. it would be better to deal with her now. Whether you intend salvation or slavery, she is a threat to us. She serves one of the greatest of the Sith. She is the most trusted and only apprentice. Yet you spare her. Why? Hmm. We shall see. There may be value in such a choice to keep her alive, or perhaps not. Whatever your intentions toward her, keep them restrained. Whether mercy or lust, we have time for neither. <laughs> Is that so? Well, perhaps there will be a second chance for her to inflict harm, so you may test such a statement. It is good that you mm. have never wondered what lay beneath her robes, if her alabaster skin was as white <laughs> and unblemished as her face. What? Or if perhaps she bore the scars of slavery, and if that would stir you more. If perhaps her deferent tone would change once you held her by the throat and showed oh her my how God. far a Jedi could <laughs> fall. Few are the thoughts that can hide in the shadows of your mind, Exile. And such passions are not strength, but erosion. That was fucking hilarious. Perhaps and perhaps not. We shall see. If you think you know me or wrong, my feelings for her are nothing like that. And you know it. Maybe you should keep your thoughts up. I never felt anything like that. Huh. No? Then perhaps I was simply mistaken. See to it that you do not ever think such thoughts. Mating with her will bring more harm than you know. Like the servant of Atris, this one <laughs> has other masters. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us, to you. Do not underestimate her <clears throat> or her loyalty. All right. Ties for math for I-9, to follow up on If she can see through the force, maybe she wants to find allies. Trust me, all I wanted. I think I can help her. Should see me. Well, actually, if there's anyone I don't trust, it's you. Wow. Ah, uh, see, I would love to save at this moment right here and then do that. But hey, you know, maybe, maybe not. We'll see what. What's the best answer? Then you are learning. Nice. Then you are learning. Because it was its time. <laughs> Perhaps you should ask her. Because it her was its time. people are not prone to violence, war, or hatred, yet their planet is obliterated, scoured from the face of the galaxy, and all that remains is a Sith. Well, if her people see food, maybe she won't. Why not the blind number? The Mandalorians were right to respect you on the field of battle. The Jedi are gone, <laughs> vanished. Now, an entire planet of Force sensitives wiped clean of life. And now this slice of the galaxy is blind. It is no coincidence. The two events are tied. <clears throat> Shout out to the awareness. Look at that again. I fear you are right. And I fear it may prove more than that. War Damn. is a hunger. And there are spirits in the galaxy whose hunger is never satisfied. Oh. But there is little to be done about it now. Watch the seer carefully. She may reveal more. Alright. Ask, and I will answer. Well, hold up, hold up. Nice. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted, baby. Ah, you are here. You felt it, did you not? What? It sounds like power. 
The time to hide your presence is coming to a close, and you will need yep. to increase your training. You are ready. Yes. Your training must increase, yes. and there are higher mysteries yeah. in this lane. But only you must know the path you will take. I cannot choose it for you. Ooh. Is it battle that stirs you? To meet an enemy blade upon blade, <laughs> such is the way of the greatest of the Sith marauders who seek strength in war and, and their the rage. rage. Or is it the ways of darkness and shadow that you seek? The power that comes from striking unseen and sensing weaknesses in others. The ways of the assassins of the Sith. Mm. Or perhaps your way lies with the Sith and the heart of their darkness. <laughs> to recognize what strength is and bring that strength to those that follow you and those, those that, that defy, defy you. The way of a Sith Lord. Wow. I only to think about this. I shall return. Very well. I shall wait. Return when you are ready. Okay. Ask. Yeah, I've got other questions. Let's go to the questions. <laughs> he, if he can truly be called a man any longer, is one of the dark lords that pursues you. I do not think he knows what you are. Not yet. He spared the Miraluka, and that may have been the last shred of feeling that exists within him. Keep his slave close to you. I suspect there was a reason he spared her, and perhaps a reason that she survived when the rest of her people and the Jedi did not. All right. Um, he's no longer a man. One cannot have power of that magnitude that her master possesses and still think and perceive the universe as we do, as most of us do. I had hoped that you would not have to confront him, but her presence here has changed all that. You will have to meet him in battle. You must be prepared to sacrifice the blinded one. Perhaps her death will buy you the time you need to deal with her master. Jeez. If that is what must be done for victory, then I'll do so. Perhaps I convince her to sacrifice herself. That would be a twin victory, I think. <laughs> if you have such power, then I would make use of it. There is no need to dirty your hands when you can convince another to drive a blade into their own heart. Damn, and I thought I was cold. Oh, you have promise. <laughs> but wait until you have more years fall upon you, <laughs> and you will see what a shell your heart will become. Oh, I love the hype. This is so great. It is a technique that is almost as old as the Sith themselves. It is a means of severing connections between life, the Force, and feeding upon the death it causes. It cannot be taught. It can only be gained through instinct, through experiencing its effects firsthand. Wow. Yes, and he fed upon its destruction. It will sustain him for a time. What? Power, do you think so? You would be wrong. There is no strength in the hunger he possesses, and the will behind his power is a primal thing. And it devours him as he devours others. His mere presence kills all around him, slowly feeding him. He is already dead. It is simply a question of how many he kills before he falls. Ah. Nothing is impossible with the Force. It is an energy that flows through all living things. And like energy, it may be harnessed, channeled, and consumed at times. It may even be a substance that can burn and ignite. Do not think of his power as one would a weapon or one of your warships of the Republic. It is terrible, but it is still a subtle thing. The sect of assassins that chase you feed on the Force. What he does is simply the pinnacle of what they could achieve in time. And that is why they and their techniques must be wiped out. No one again must experience and learn what her master did. As much as one may use the force to bolster the wills and strengths of others, the reverse is possible, though not often used. Instead of sending one's will through connections in the force, instead such connections are drawn upon, fed upon, and drained completely. Damn. Then you understand how terrible such a power is, and why it must be ended. It is an empty road to the dark side, and by traveling it, the price is death before one's time. He is a breach in the Force, capable of consuming the lives of those around him. Sometimes the touch is slow, as it is with his crew. It is not something he can direct or focus, much like hunger itself. He is more of a hole in the Force than a living thing. Force sensitives and worlds rich in the Force draw him. The Miraluka world was one such place. 
That is why where the Jedi gather, Jedi will die. He will feel it, unless they mask their presence. But Qatar called out as a beacon to him, and he could not resist it. And he cares nothing for the Sith, or its teachings, or the Jedi. And when the Jedi are dead, he will feed on the galaxy, the Republic, and eventually consume the Sith as well. There is no future in the empty galaxy he sees, and that is why he must be stopped. The breach must be sealed before his power grows beyond what even we can hope to stop. Perhaps he is bound to her, as I am bound to you. If so, there may be a death served by hers. You must be prepared to sacrifice the blinded one. Yep, yep, yep. Ask. She did nothing to your eyes that was not already there. She has forced this upon you, but such crude methods are the markings of the Sith. Close your eyes. Feel this ship around you. Listen to my words. Hear the sound of the handmaidens training in the cargo hold. Her hands cutting the air. The welding of the droid as it goes about its work. <laughs> now, stretch out. Hear the rumble of hyperspace, the hum of the hyperdrive. Ignore distractions and focus <laughs> on my voice. The breathing of the blinded one as she meditates in the dark. Listen deeper, past her breathing, and listen. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death, and... You are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only, but it is something that masters have trained for for years and never learned. Damn. That is not the real question you should ask. Is such listening enough to perceive the world around you? It is not. Because to listen to the thoughts of another is much like attempting to see the universe only with your eyes. It is equally limiting. Now leave me be. I must rest. Okay. Nice, nice. 206 force now. Looking nice and evil. I really want to know what the fuck each path does. You are spending time with the servant of Atris. Uh. <laughs> I knew her mother. She was a Jedi Knight, a master named Aaron Kai. Jedi are forbidden ah. to have children, and when the crime finally came to light almost a decade later, Kai was exiled. She joined the Mandalorian Wars after the shame of her birth was revealed. It's true. Revan welcomed her, and she was said to be a skilled warrior, beautiful and strong in the force. The force flows strongly in the blood of those born from force sensitives. I doubt that Aaron was any different. If the servant of Atris is of her blood, then the potential lies within her. If you train her, if you teach her the ways of the Jedi, you will be asking her to break her oath to Atris. It would be best not to train <coughs> her, and let the bloodline die with Telos. Ah, that was an interesting choice of words indeed. She has sworn not to follow the path of the Jedi by her oath, but even that oath is limited. One does not need to be Jedi to learn the ways of the Force. I suspect it cares little for our codes and philosophies. <laughs> but there's only Jedi and Sith, so what you're proposing seems like really evil. Are you proposing teaching her the ways of Sith, but shouldn't she know? How could I train her? You must train yourself first the time will reveal itself yet if you persist as you have building her trust then you will be training her whether you know it or not until the choice is hers not yours awesome 
Before you continue questioning me, I hope your thoughts in the matter concerning this servant of Petrus are clear. Spend time with her if you must, but recognize where your true loyalties lie to the galaxy and yourself. It's true. Damn, I don't like any of these answers. <sighs> my loyalties lie to my friends and allies. I don't need a lecture from you, Jedi. Have no. I don't want to say I'm a Jedi. Ah, so it is loyalty you claim when you ah. squander away your time with her. Never have you wondered what it would mean in the Ichani rituals if the two of you sparred and fought. And you won, completely and utterly. If perhaps she would give in, surrender herself to you. Oh. Few are the thoughts that can hide in the shadows of your mind. You said that just like Tavisus. That's hilarious. No, then perhaps I was simply mistaken. Yup. Very well, I shall keep such judgments to myself. Yup. Kreia, you nosy bitch. You nosy bitch, Kreia. <laughs> you have grown strong in the Force. I can feel its mark upon you. Be warned. The highest of mysteries cannot be found by falling to the dark side. It is a quick path, and often a short one. But I sense a disquiet in you, an unrest. Such things will erode your strength. Ah. There's no way to display my strength when the galaxy is filled with big fools. I'm sorry. I'm anxious for the chance to testify so fair. Why do people on our journey trouble with ease? The servant word. <laughs> they sense the trappings of power and decision upon you. Their lives are static, trapped, and they see one who carries no such chains. They are fools in dealing with them. We have more importance to do in begging for aid. They show their weakness and deserve death. Ah, then you have learnt nothing. Damn from it. such small things, from such aiding and all right, all right, all right. Ah, oh, now you are. So could that have gone the other way? I'm curious. Hold on. If I could have gained double Kreia, let's see. You have grown strong. They sense the trappings. Hmm. Ah, then you have so no matter what you say, I see. Okay. Um. Nice. Yes. That is something we will leave until we possess a lightsaber. Two single-handed light for yourself and one for Visas. Wow. Okay. Very well. Very well. Sit with me. Yes, teach me more, Kreia. You have brushed the surface thoughts of another. It is a start. Calm yourself. This time, silence your own thoughts. Keep them still. Imagine the waters of the room of a thousand fountains, each stream suddenly falling silent and still. Imagine the ice of Telos, cold and smooth as it gathers upon the plateau. Now, stretch out. Feel the ship around you. Strip away the metal and see the souls and minds of those that fill its corridors with more thoughts and dreams and worries than can fill the space of this ship. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death and if I up the Devana gas levels in the carbine, that would be enough to punch a hole even in triple Durasteel. And we'll need weapons like that if the Republic discovers the camp on Duxon. From the first movement flows the second. Strike. Repeat. Circle one's opponent. Repeat. Faster. Quicker. If father had been faster. If only father had been faster. Damn. <laughs> I was faster. I would no longer be the last of my sisters. But does Atris love him? Jedi do not love. Does Atris hate him? Jedi do not hate. This journey is harder than any she has sent me on. 
Switch the face of the plus one, minus one card. The totals are nine, ten. Switch the face of the plus two, minus two card. The total is eight, eleven. Switch. Your command echoes still, General, and I obey, as I did at Malakor. Jeez. <laughs> feet walk from the ashes of the dark. Pretty the crazy. Plus one, I should not fear. The totals are nine, ten. Switch the face of the plus two. Your command echoes still, General, the total is eight, and I obey, <clears> switch. as I did at Malakor. Malakor. <laughs> not now. Focus on my voice. Malakor. Now do you hear me? Truly hear me. You have taken the first steps on a much longer road. Ezra. Oh, yeah. The droids cannot be read in such a way. As for the alien who served with you in the war, its thoughts are more difficult, requiring many translations in meaning. Often it is better to read their impulses and images than their spoken thoughts. That is why he is deaf to you. I have found his impulses are cold, like a dead weight. His thoughts are black. Hmm. Such is the case with primitive... Of course there was. It is because Atten was not playing for Zack. Yet he counts cards in his head. <laughs> At times, he will list off engine sequences, memorize the hyperspace routes on the other side of the galaxy, count the ticking in the power couplings, even though they are fixed. At other times, he will imagine certain base lusts, certain indignities. It may be Atten is far cleverer than he feigns to be. Or perhaps he is simply a fool. <laughs> So, influence gained, maximum force points. Nice. How much more did we get? Six? Okay. Save. We got a lot of dialogue with Kraya. Yes. Have you come with questions? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is something we will leave. Uh, I keep forgetting that. Very well. Hmm. Ah, I had wondered if... But your powers are strong indeed. Now is not the time to speak of this. Wait. Okay. Every step on our journey shall bring with it discoveries. With persistence, you shall grow in the Force. And for every planet we reach, all that we touch with our presence, you shall grow, for you will have no choice. All right. To all the planets of the Masters... Wow. Yes. All right. Ask. Damn. Does it matter? Of course it does. Such titles allow you to break the galaxy. Perhaps I am neither. And I hold both as what they are. What do you wish to hear? <laughs> that I once believed in the Code of the Jedi? That I felt the call of the Sith? That perhaps once I held the galaxy by its throat? That for every good work that I did, I brought equal harm upon the galaxy? That perhaps what the greatest of the Sith Lords knew of evil, they learned from me? What would it matter now? There is only so much comfort in knowing such things, and it is not who I am now. dark places in the galaxy where few tread ancient centers of learning of knowledge but I did not walk alone to be united by hatred is a fragile alliance at best My will was not law. There were disagreements, ambition, and hunger for power. There are techniques within the Force against which there is no defense. Exiled. 
I suffered indignities and fell into darkness. Take what strength you may steal from me. That is all I need be to you. In you all my hopes rest for the future, for the Force. I need more than that, Kraya. If it means so much to you, then this I swear to you upon my life, upon our lives, that when your training is complete, I will answer everything. There shall be no more shadows between us, only truth that exists between master and apprentice. Fair enough. That's all I wanted. All right, so we are at the uh, hour mark. So we're gonna honestly call this a good spot to save if it'll let me, what the, there we go. My mouse is not working, interesting. Ah, oh, come on, come on. All right, well, whatever y'all. <laughs> Uh, until next time, y'all, thanks for hanging out, but, uh, we'll see you for part 13, probably, you know, tomorrow, if you're watching this in, uh, chronological order, so, thanks for hanging out with me, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get the outro going, till next time, deuces. I said check, please. I said check, please. I said check, please.